All right, Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do hit click, please do hit click, like, share, and do, 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 do subscribe if you are resonating with my messages. That would greatly help to support my channel. And everything you need to know or all the information, like booking a reading, purchasing any of my decks, all in the description box below this video. Okay, so Virgo, happy birthday. Today is 21st as I'm recording this reading. So we are at the end of Virgo season. Wow, that went really quick, huh? You guys, hi everybody in the chat. All right, so we're still in the Mercury retrograde till October 2nd, and then we have our post shadow period. So let's take a look and see what messages will be coming out here for you for this retrograde period up in through October. What does Virgo need to know? Oh, I've got slippery fingers today. What does Virgo need to know in regards to love? Going through the rest of this metric metrograde. <laughs> and I have like, a, I can't talk. Retrograde. Okay, let me see. Okay, wedding rings. Oh, union, wedding, getting married, soul connection being made, eternal love, everlasting promises. That's nice, Virgo. Very nice. Okay. Um, are you guys trying to get married? What's going on with you? Is someone going to propose here? Um, could be somebody that you meet or someone that you've met who may still wear a wedding ring and they may be widowed. I'm just hearing. Okay. Let's see. Abundance. Oh my goodness. Keeping a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what is wanted gratitude and bliss so you've got somebody here who wants to marry you or wants to be your plus one your eternal soulmate love everlasting love here um, this person's very positive or is having a has a positive mindset about this which is good omg now you've got love call okay all right, Virgo, you're getting a phone call, Virgo. You're getting a phone call. Someone expresses their love to you or texts you, message of love, thinking of you, wants to let you know. Somebody here wants to marry you. Who is this person, Virgo? Who are you talking to? Have you met them yet? You may not have met them yet. Maybe you do, maybe you have. Maybe you might know who this person is. Let's take a look. Oh, we almost had a jumper, but it didn't finish its jump. Let me see. Who is this person? What is going on? Um, you could get a love call and someone says, let's get married. Let's do this. Let's run to Vegas. Let's go wherever. Let's do it now. <laughs> I don't know why I'm feeling this rushed energy. For some of you, it, it may just be that kind of energy. Like, let's do it. Forget this. Forget it all. Let's. Oh my gosh. Okay, this person is someone who, well, with the Six of Wands, either they're popular or um, they sit in a position of people know who they are. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Fire sign, perhaps? Holy moly, right when I said that, there's King of Wands. Male or female energy. Okay. Wow. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, this person might be an athlete, um, or they're someone who's like, you know, they might be on a stage, maybe a performer. Um, they get a, so I'm just, I'm seeing an audience that surrounds this person, some kind of an audience or people. Okay, they could be globally well known, they could be well known nationally, locally something along those lines okay um hmm. wow all right five of pentacles knight of wands wow okay this person is definitely on their own alone wow okay cards are just flying out this person is like they're ready like they're gonna rush in um if you know them this is definitely the energy it's playing out if you don't know who this person is you could be meeting them during this retrograde 
okay um now they live at a distance okay so they don't have to be like i said famous but they are someone who is successful okay so let's leave it at that okay they could be famous but they're definitely successful they could be on the other side of the world you might meet them through the internets the intranets connecting with this person um exchanging numbers talking to them online for some of you you may have met them online and you've had a relationship with them and this person's like okay they're calling expect that love call here that's a, a lot of like lovely messages here if you know them to tell you that they're thinking of you you may have met them a long time ago and exchanged numbers and nothing happened and here they are showing up again okay all right this person devil energy they be very obsessive with you or will become very obsessive with you and that's what this knight of wands energy is like very passionate and lust filled energy okay so during this retrograde up until the second and maybe a little bit after i do feel okay capricorn energy as well i do feel oh and also um aquarius taurus and scorpio also i feel like this person wow having an awakening is what's happening here so it's either an awakening to you in this relationship okay if you've already been connecting with them or dating or what have you and for others this is like awakening to themselves this person has accomplished so much in their life and the only thing they don't have is that love and this person doesn't have a long-term like person by their side to enjoy their life you know all their success and it looks like this person if you don't know them you could be meeting them or connecting with them where they say you know what i am ready to settle down i i'm ready to i want and not settle down in a negative way but it's like i want to get to know you i'm i'm ready to have someone in my life i'm ready to allow someone to enter into my world okay um i know what i need this is kind of like that wake up call energy some of you might be surprised by the phone call and the message that comes through here you know um this might be a little bit unexpected for some of you but this person is revealing everything okay and it's like a revelation okay what else what else does Virgo need to know? Okay. Wow. Yeah. Dating. Three of Cups. I feel like every time I do your readings, I'm getting notifications. Um, so Three of Cups. For some of you, this is a reunion with someone. Okay. Reconnecting with someone. Celebrating. Going out. Um, this can be like um, engagement party kind of thing. For some of you... Um, there's a proposal and I'm also feeling like this person okay might have been I feel like single uh, you know for me it's like okay you're either single or you're married <laughs> you know what I mean you know like I mean that's just my personal opinion you know because um, we're not in high school and um, the boyfriend girlfriend thing is kind of silly when you get to be older that's just my opinion like you're either single and dating or you are in some type of exclusive quote-unquote contract with someone okay so I feel like this person is like waking up to been around the world dated all kinds of people met all kinds of people and for them it's like every single person is a carbon copy of the other you are unique there's something special about you here Virgo that this person either sees or will see you are not you're they see you as being high level they see you as just being unique and very special and and at least they will if you don't know them and you're connecting with them but there's this energy of like you're just not like all the rest you're not like all the others let me see let me take a look at you Virgo <laughs> we're always looking at you Virgo but I feel like this person it really is like flirtatious it's expressions of love messages of love it's affection there's no grandstanding here when it comes to expressing emotions 
uh, this person, they're very strong physical attraction they will have or they, or they do have for you. Okay. Um, life is cold where they are. They might be in a cold place or a cold environment. Um, nothing's going on. You know what I mean? Like there's, you know, for some of you, this person has chased their passions, you know, um, out of a sense of not having anything, you know, they, I feel like they may have like purposely throughout their life, just, you know, tried to light a fire where there was just snow and cold to keep warm by, um, connecting with other people in physically lustful ways. But you know, when that's over, then, you know, they go back to their cold, barren life. There's nothing there where they are. And I feel like that the, this is the energy uh, which is making this person come to terms with all the partying, all the having fun, going from person to person, that kind of thing. There was nothing there. I, I don't know if this person needed to sow their seeds or what the deal was, or they just weren't sure, or they just felt like they were going to be missing something. You know, if you were in a separation with this person and then they went out and did all that, and now they're coming back to you because they finally decided. I mean, yikes. That's a little bit of a different story, how to handle that. But let's take a look at you. Okay, what is your energy, Virgo? What's going on with you? Okay, yeah, look at you. You're good. You're stable. I like this. You have a nice home. Um, you might have a wealthy home. You might just have a home that's that's enriched with all of your things, and it's like yours. It's all yours. You may have a pet. Um, maybe there's a, a small child somewhere around you or a baby. Um, got family. Some of you might work in like taking care of children. Or, or animals. Um, I'm seeing like stability, wealth, abundance, where you are. You're, it's like, Virgo, I feel like you are like in, you're like stay put. You're in like one place in your life and you're good there, you know? Maybe you've settled in your life, you know? Like maybe you're done with all the crazy dating or, you know, just redirected your energy and focused on yourself and built yourself you built a solid foundation for your life very stable and um hmm. you look good though i mean you look really good i'm seeing like i don't know they're telling me ancestry i'm seeing like family tradition um some of you live in like a Victorian home or you live somewhere where there's a Victorian home. For some, let me see, you might have a golden retriever <laughs> or someone does, okay. Hmm. Some of you might be like a single parent, right? And your kids are raised and um, there's a child, like you might have a grandchild and you spend a lot of time with a grandchild perhaps. Okay, but either way, I'm seeing family oriented here with you, whether it's like your extended family or just you. Um, some of you might be working in a family business. I'm just seeing like a lot of no crazy like I do feel like a very different lifestyle than this person. And you look attract like you both seem like there's an attraction because it's a different lifestyle for both of you. Um, but when you look at this person, you kind of are like, oh, pipe dreams. You might feel that way, the way they live. And they look at you and they might feel like, if you knew them before, it might be like, oh, Virgo's boring. Vir Virgo's just like an everyday next door kind of person. But now something shifted here, right? There's something very appealing about your safety and your stability and your strengths. And you're not attracted to this wildfire energy of this person, okay? So there's something a little bit different in the way you guys live, okay? But it feels like this person, you being in a more stable environment, this person wants to be what have what you have and they want that with you. Okay, let's see. It's interesting. Some of these readings, I'll swear. Okay, yeah, you've had your heart broken for sure, either by them or just in general. And you've decided, you know what? I'm going to stay out of relationships or I'm not going to pursue dating. I'm just going to focus on family and building my wealth and all that. So 
you know, maybe it's a way to heal. And for some of you, it's more or less like, I'm just going to live my life. And if somebody comes in, that's great. I'm open to it. Okay. So, <laughs> but the Four of Cups, for some of you, you're like totally apathetic. You're indifferent to love in a lot of ways. Um, you may not want to have this person like, oh, okay, now you miss me. Now you want to finally settle down after all this time. And you guys might, some of you, I feel like I said this yesterday, some of you are kind of like, I don't even know, you know, I don't even know. Um, I have other options. Some of you have other options that you may want to pursue. Girl, guys, I don't know who you are, but the tables have turned. That's it. The, the tables or the tables are turning. Okay. The tables have turned. The tables are turning. You've got the lovers here. You're choosing now. You're choosing. Now you're making a decision if you want to or not. Maybe before in your past relationships, you didn't really like take a moment to, to choose um, somebody. I feel like you're able to do that here because you're good where you are. Like when you're in a good position, you can choose. When you're in a desperate position, there's no, cho there's no choosing. There's like, oh, I just have to have this, right? But when you're stable and content with yourself and your life and you feel good, then you have the option to choose. And that's what I feel like is going on here. So it's kind of like the tables are turning here in your love life and you are more or less like, hmm, well, someone's coming in here, but, or someone's coming back or someone is reaching out, but now, hmm, do I even really need this in my life right now? So it's, I mean, I'm not saying that you're in a position of desperation, but you're getting clarity and you're being clear with yourself about what you want. And that's, that's wonderful, right? I always say, you know, like never, never go food shopping when you're hungry. <laughs> never fill up first. And then you'll be less likely to just grab whatever's off the shelf. You know, you'll be more conscientious about your decisions and what you want. And it's the same with dating. Never date when you're hungry or desperate date when you're full so that you can just be more conscientious about who you're interested in and who you want you know you'll take your time in choosing um okay you know what i'm gonna pull some moon pie tarot cards and see what other messages there are here that you need to know but yes tables are turning and you've got definitely someone is coming in like ready to have the life and spend life with you on your terms the way you're living your life not having you having to chase or adjust to them okay or you know if you know them and if you don't know them somebody coming in who's like in alignment with you okay let me see all right so peace beautiful the influence of balance and harmony are over you. Leave things be and allow spirit to work in your life. All good things are happening behind the scenes. Trust that God is working in your life. Even when you feel discouraged, be patient and trust his timing. Okay, that's Sagittarius energy right there. Um, Gemini is also here, as usual. I feel like Gemini is always in these readings. Let me see. Okay, struggle, challenge, and competition hard for you isn't it a little bit you, you you so i feel like um somebody coming in here you may want to just like jump on this person you may want to pounce like this is the one um that might be coming from a place of attraction or need or because this person comes in and is giving you like a tremendous amount of attention and it might feel really good and you might really be enjoying that okay uh, a lot of compliments physical attraction uh, somebody calling you all the time with love calls and really pursuing you, okay? Or giving you the opportunity to pursue them. You might want to jump and run with that um, and grab this person. But I also feel like this person sees that there's also, you're a little bit of a challenge. They're going to have to struggle and there may be others that they're going to have to compete with. But it seems like with that Knight of Wands, I mean, this person is successful, like they're a winner. So they are very confident in, especially that King of Wands or Queen of Wands energy, very confident. Okay, girls night out. Yeah, so some of you are going to be spending some time with some friends 
during this retrograde or doing some things with girls or guys or people who are close to you um living your best life if you get invitations like that go for it i feel like that's awesome <laughs> okay all right negative thinking showed up but it was upside down so this is good you're keeping that negative thinking at bay and i feel like you're enjoying your life you will be you know in october throw the retrograde and all but uh, i don't know this love call is going to change everything virgo love call and i don't i feel like it's perfect timing because now you know like when this call comes in now you're going to be in this position of like hmm i'm gonna have to think about it <laughs> You might really want to run with it. You might be like, oh my God, yes. But at the same time, something tells me that you're, you know, you're not going to be showing your hand as far as like any kind of, you know, you're not going to be like jumping on this as soon as the offer comes in. Okay. You deserve love and you know this Virgo, right? So you can choose. <laughs> you're not taking anything less than that because you are lovable. This person believes that you are lovable and that you deserve love some kind of shift and they'll be expressing their love to you here like i said making romantic gestures towards you lovely all right let me see and very soon here you go clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now yeah this person i'm telling you they're making they're like it's gonna happen they're coming in with this like full on let's do it I want to, I want you to be my, my partner for life. I want, I want to get married. I want to be like what, nobody else. I don't want anyone else. I want you Virgo. I want to be with you I, I, and expressing that love and those affection and compliments and all these wonderful things about you that they see in you. Okay. Your affirmation, a personal issue reaches resolution. So whatever you've been struggling with here, Virgo, I feel like yeah, it's coming to a head. There's, it's going to get resolved as far as a relationship. If you've had a struggle with someone or if you've just been kind of like, oh, am I ever going to meet somebody? That kind of thing. Or is anybody ever going to come in? Yes, this is going to reach resolution. And um, let me see. So the next full moon, Virgo, which will be, hold on, I can't find it. Okay, October 9th. Yep, so I'm picking, uh, picking up the energy of October 9th, um, where this energy will be, uh, for, for many of you, playing out. Not all of you, okay? So take the rest, of, take it as it resonates, okay? Let me see what the signs are here, the Chinese signs for you. All right, year of the snake. Okay, year of the pig. So these are either yours, your person. Um, year of the ox. Year of the rat. Okay, year of the goat. We have a rabbit. Year of the dog, again. Goat, again. Ox, again. Mm hmm. We have pig again. Oh my goodness. And you're the rooster. Okay, so if that resonates for you, definitely your message. If not, don't sweat it. And let me just get a couple other signs to see if there's any other signs or confirmation of the signs I've already said. Okay, we have Scorpio, Libra, Cancer, double Scorpio. Okay. Um, those are the extra signs. Now, if I didn't call your, the person's sign, either one, it's not your person, but it doesn't mean the reading is not for you, or two, you haven't met them yet, okay? So you wouldn't know just yet, but keep that in mind. Always go back and listen to the readings. If it resonates, save it. You can save the readings in your playlist. That way, if you meet somebody, you have something to kind of go, you know, guide you by. Okay, especially if you're coming into something where you have to make a decision of some sort. Um, do I want to do anything else here? No, I think we're good. I think we're going to end it there. Tomorrow, make sure you're here. We're going to do your weekend reading. And then 
the weekend will be over and then Sunday I will be back with just the singles read. All right, you guys, so make sure you do click the link below the video if you wanna get a personal reading with me. And um, don't forget to join my channel. When you join my channel, it's $9.99 a month. You get early access to all of these videos that I put up. Um, I keep them open to members only. And then um, I release it to premiere by 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? So if you're in the middle of listening to it and it shuts off by 9.30 p.m. Eastern, that's because it's now ready for premiere. So make sure you catch it. Like sometimes I'll upload it between 3 and 9 p.m. Eastern. So anytime in there, you should get a notification if you click the notification bell. And you can also join the channel for 99 cents a month if you want to um, have access to my community tab and the things that I post in there. Okay. All right, Virgo. I think that's it. I hope you guys have a lovely birthday and I will see you all tomorrow for your weekend reading. Take care.